Hey there guys and welcome back to the channel. Okay, as you've probably gathered from some of my other videos, I'm a big DC fan. One of my favourite DC movies ever made is Joker. I think it's an absolute masterpiece from start to finish. The movie itself is an excellent character study and a possible blueprint to one of the most iconic villains of all time. So yes, as you've gathered from the title, I don't want there to be a sequel. There is absolutely no need for a Joker 2. So, in terms of the first movie, there really isn't much of a plot. It's a massive character-led story. We watch Arthur's descent into madness from start to end. The movie has one point, and one point alone. That the world is cruel. The spectator spends 90 minutes watching as an unfair society breaks a man with bad mental health and crushes him into the ground. This is established through Arthur's challenging upbringing, his damaged relationship with his mother and the fickle fantasy he has with Murray being like a surrogate father figure to him. Each plot beat cleverly knocks Arthur down and act in unison. He loses his job for bringing a gun to a hospital, gets verbally and physically abused on a train, which causes him to snap and shoot Gotham's elite, which the rest of society have deemed worthy, unlike Arthur who just gets left behind culminating in a finale where he adopts the name Joker and commits an atrocious act on live television. How about another joke, Murray? No, I think we've had enough of your jokes. What do you get? I don't think so. When you cross I think a mentally ill with loner with a it. society that abandons him and treats him like trash! Call the police, I'll man. tell you what you get! Call the police! You get what you fucking deserve! <laughs> Solidifying himself and creating a social imbalance in Gotham. That's where the movie ends, with him inside Arkham. That's where it should stay. He is the Joker now, and the character transformation is established. It has been confirmed that Lady Gaga will be joining Haquan Phoenix in the sequel as Harley Quinn, which would be fun and cool if this was a more comic-heavy movie. I know that probably sounds weird as it's about a comic book character, but to me, Joker seems like the least comic book-inspired movie of all comic book movies out there. If you stripped away all references to DC characters and places, then it's just an excellent movie which explores themes of bad mental health. I get it from the production company's point of view. They want to make a lot of money and a sequel to this film will make a lot, but I just don't think it's necessary, and I worry that it will do more harm than good. This movie is quite possibly my favourite film of all time. I don't want this sequel to ruin the first one for me. That's just my thoughts though. I would love to hear what you all think in comments down below. If you enjoyed what you saw, then could you please hit that like button and subscribe? It helps with the YouTube algorithm. Please stay close as I try to post new content every single week.